Let's just take a little side trip into a little basic physiology here. There we have a cell. Inside that cell normally is found a mineral called potassium. Outside in the extracellular fluid circulating around the cell that has oxygen in it, that has nutrients in it, etc., is a mineral called sodium. And for the entire history of man, he has existed to create a homeostasis here by the antagonistic effects of potassium and sodium. Potassium acting to attract water, which fluid contains all the nutrients and everything, and to create a greater pressure out here, which pushes those things into the cell. And in here we have potassium, which is antagonistic to sodium, that keeps the sodium out. Because you see, if the sodium builds up inside the cell, it will attract water. And it will hold water inside the cell. And then what do you have? Edema. Very simple. You have a imbalance of sodium and potassium when you have edema. And it is not necessarily the eating of sodium, because sodium is a necessary mineral for us. Remember, it plays a part out here. But it is the lack of potassium in your diet that creates the imbalance that allows the sodium to get into the cell. And unfortunately, once the potassium is out of the cell, has been pushed out, and the sodium has taken over, you not only need to take in potassium, because potassium requires a doorman to open the door to the cell, and that is magnesium. Magnesium acts as a doorman to open the cell door, and he gets potassium back in. So, if you have a lack of potassium, you also need to give yourself a little more magnesium. And that's where this whole thing of nutritional synergism comes in, and why you need to take the time to understand it, and why so many people fail when they try to treat themselves with single nutrients. The potassium is essential, but without the magnesium, the potassium is impotent. As we shall see, I say that if you want to maintain good health, before you do anything else, you should consider a broad spectrum vitamin mineral supplement that gives you a little bit of everything that your body can choose from and take as it needs. And then if you find you have specific nutrient deficiencies, you can add more of that. But always start out with a good broad spectrum base because that is the foundation of good nutrition.